I made a 3D racing game in Unreal Engine 5. The catch? I only had 10 hours to do so and I have never created a racing game before. So here we go. I opened up the default vehicle template in Unreal Engine 5 and I was surprised with the amount of stuff they give you to get started with. I got a demo car which I can drive in and with some basic roads and objects to have fun with. Nice. First I want to change the default car into a model of my own. In previous devlogs I took 3D models from the internet but not this time. This time I created a model inside of Blender by following this tutorial from CJ Geek. I have basic experience in modeling 3D objects but a car was new for me. So after following all steps like a good boy I ended up with this car. I gave it some basic texturing and added glasses because I'm so cool. The player will be looking to the backside of the car while driving so that's why I placed the glasses there. Then I exported the FBX model and put it into Unreal Engine 5 and swapped the default car with the one I just made. Now I'm driving around with my own model and although it looks cartoonish I'm pretty happy with my pimped out ride. Now we need to upgrade our track. I found this American road pavement on Quixel Bridge and applied it over the materials of the default track. With the use of the landscape mode and spline system I could drag out this beautiful track shape of my racing game. I think this shape is really unique and screams out art. Wouldn't you agree? I tested out the driving mechanics and it is still working. But you better stay on track with your car or you have the chance to bump over the edge. I decided to leave this in the game because I want the player to be punished when he goes off track. A good flick in the air will do the job and I will promote it as a feature instead of a bug. So the racing track is done but it's looking kinda dull. So I added trees in the foliage system and painted them around my level. The added bonus to this is that it looks like my car is driving really fast now since I have objects to compare speed to. Even though the speed didn't change at all. And also it looks prettier. So the trees are a keeper for this game. Then I added blocking volumes around the level so the player can't go off path to get to the other side faster. If he does, he will get stuck against the blocking volume, causing him to turn around and stay on track like a good boy. Now it is time to add other cars to the game. Since I only have 10 hours to create this game, I'm not going to develop an entire multiplayer system. Instead, I'm going to create an AI car that will play the role of our opponent. The Unreal template came with this off-road buggy racing car. I liked it and decided to keep this. Not only does it save a lot of time, but it looks good, so it's in the game now. To make it follow a spline path, I followed this tutorial by Ceridius. He goes over how to set up a path that the car will follow. After the first attempt, I was very happy that it worked, but my driver was really drunk and bugged out, which caused him to flip over at every turn. After a lot of tweaking and redirecting the spline points, I got my AI car working and driving around without flipping over. Now I got a challenger that is still a little drunk, but will always finish the track. A timer is also very important in racing games, so you can compare your speed to the other speedrunners. I added it on top of the screen and made it freeze when the player finishes the track. That brings me to the finish point. I created this finish line inside of Blender, used a very simple material for the racing patterns and then uploaded it to Unreal Engine 5. I adjusted the default collisions so the player can drive through the finish point. Then I messed around with the level blueprint that will be triggered when you drive through the finish line and it shows the winning screen. At that point you can no longer control the car and the timer will freeze. The main mechanics of the game are finished now, so it's time to add some basic main menu and pause screen. The image of this main menu was generated by an AI bot named Midjourney. It fits the theme of this car game and I think it looks really cool. Then I added the buttons and a widget switcher will toggle between canvas panels so the player can click around for the right info. The pause screen will work during gameplay so you can quit or restart at any time you like. After all of this I polished up some code and added sounds. Now it's time to give this driving game a spin and test my skills on this bumpy track. So with Without further ado, this is my attempt at finishing my own game.
You can download this game for free on itch.io, link is down in the description. Also let me know in what time did you beat this track, who can finish it in under a minute within the first few attempts. Small time projects like these are great to learn game development really fast. I would advise you to do the same. This was my very first racing game and I want to create more games like this but for other genres. I also want to create bigger scoped projects pretty soon. If you have any requests for gameplay features or genres, please let me know them in the comment section down below this video. Subscribe for more game devlogs like these. See you soon. Don't forget to grab the free game dev toolkit in the description down below this video. You will get my free ebook on how to get better at game development, a free game design document to plan out your project projects and a free tutorial series where you create a platformer game from scratch. And those who are hungry for more, I offer a sneak peek and overview of my new premium course The Unreal Vault, where you learn how to create beautiful levels, create a game from scratch to finish, and how to set up boss fights and create dragon fights with different attacks including fire breathing. So if this sounds like a good deal to you, I see you there. Click the link and grab your game dev toolkit now while it's still free.